Hi, welcome to a new video on installing VirtualBox on Ubuntu 23.10. In this video, we will install VirtualBox using the Ubuntu packages. Now, the reason we are using the Ubuntu packages for the VirtualBox installation is there are no official versions of Ubuntu 23.10. So while the Ubuntu 22.04 package will probably work for the time being it's probably better just to use the Ubuntu package versions. So after installing the base package we'll install the VirtualBox extensions pack. So it's an optional step as this pack isn't usually installed by default in the standard VirtualBox installation. However it adds a number of useful features such as network boot support, RDP support for virtual machine consoles among some other features. So the reason it's not installed by default is that it's only licensed for non-commercial use and you can check the license out here. So we're then going to install VirtualBox Guest Edition ISO. This is a virtual CD that contains drivers that can be installed inside your VMs to improve performance but it's an optional step. The entire process is three simple commands and I'll include those in the description. We'll do the installation in three separate stages, starting with the installation of the base VirtualBox package. Now this part could be done with the App Center, however we're going to use the terminal commands to keep things simple, as the other steps require this. So what we need to do is we need to run this command here, so we will copy this, first command and paste it into our terminal and run that. At this point we can start VirtualBox and we could start creating VMs but if we click here and go extensions, you'll see we've only got the VMC extension installed. So we'll close VirtualBox and we will install the VirtualBox extension pack. So we need to run this second command to install the VirtualBox. So we'll copy this paste that into our terminal and run that. Now during the installation we have to agree to the license terms. So click yes there and extension pack will be installed. Now with the extension pack installed we can start VirtualBox again. This time we should see we've got the VirtualBox extension pack installed. Now at this point we can create virtual machines, but we're going to do one more step and that is to install the VirtualBox Guest Edition ISO. So to do that we need to run this final command. So we'll copy and go to our terminal and paste there and run. So this will grab the guest edition ISO and install it for us locally. And if we go back to VirtualBox what we can do is we can click here and choose media and optical disks and we'll click add and other locations and computer and USR and share and locate VirtualBox folder and select guest editions ISO and open. Now this adds it to our list which makes it a little simpler for us to find when we're finally setting up VMs. At this point we can click here and choose welcome and click new and start creating a new virtual machine. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.